This Doppelbock is recognised as one of the finest in Germany. It's Beer O'Clock and from Weistefana, the oldest brewery in the world, we have a bottle of their Corbinian Doppelbock coming in at 7.4% ABV. Now then, this brewery first started brewing beer in 1040. They are the oldest brewery in the world. And apparently, this is one of the best Doppelbocks in the world. Um, Bold claims, bold claims, you might say, but they've won World Beer Awards with this beer. Um, you know, every Vasafana beer I've ever had, you know, I've got a few of the bottles lined up here, especially, you know, the, you know, the, the, the Vizen. The Vizen's probably the best Vizen in the world. You've got the Vitus, which is one of the, the best Vizen bucks in the world. The Dunkel's fantastic. The Crystal is just absolutely blows my mind. I've never had the Corbinian until now, so this is a first. Um, I'm really looking forward to this uh, Doppelbock because I do like a Doppelbock. You know, I've had a few good ones, and one of the best, my most favourite Doppelbox, believe it or not, is the Exlenkara from Bamberg, which is um, smoked over oak. It's the only beer they actually smoke over oak. So, yeah, um, really, really interested, really, really looking forward to this. Um, I actually got this from the House of Trembling Madness. You know, so if any of you, after this review, want to get out of the bottle to try it, get on the House of Trembling Madness. Fantastic, fantastic. I'll tell you what, they have got to be one of the, the best suppliers of beer in the UK. You order your beer, and it's with you the following day. It's it's that good, their service is that good, it's just outstanding. I can't praise them up enough. So without further ado, let's crack this open. Let's get this into a glass. Now, um, they actually um, you have a stange for this, a handled stange, so I've got the older, the, 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 um, the Munich Beer and Oktoberfest Museum glass for this beer because I think it's appropriate. Look at that. Look at the way that poured in there. It's absolutely fantastic. So first impressions, it's a dark ruby. It's because you can actually see the light from this. It's got a really ruby colour to it. It is it, dark, it's ruby red. It's got a beautiful two finger white tight frothy foam head. And let's get the aromas because you notice this is made with dark malts. Oh my god, the first thing that hit me was chocolate. Real chocolate malts. And then you're sort of getting these dark fruits, like a black forest gatto. Really dark, roasty malts, really pronounced in this beer. Massive, massive chocolatey, it's like it's a Black Forest Ghetto, to be honest. You know, it's got the fruitiness, the chocolatiness. Malt bread. You know, like the malt bread. You know, that, oh, my nan used to buy the malt bread and put butter on it and ends that, you know. This is absolutely smells awesome. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers, or Prost.
Ama var. That's just blowing me away. You think this beer is brewed to the Rhine Heights Skabot of 1516, right? So basically, all this beer can have in it is water, hops, malts, yeast. That's it. Four, four ingredients. But, you know, it might have a few like different malts in and a few different hops, but the basis of this is four ingredients. They can't divert and and add um, a little bit of this or a little bit of that to it. It's literally, there's four ingredients. That's all that can go into this beer. And it's just blown me away. The first sip's just blown me away. It's so silky smooth. It doesn't taste like it or feel like you're drinking a 7.4% beer. But it's this silky smoothness that has just blown me away. It's like drinking velvet if there's any if, if any i know you can't drink velvet but if you could drink velvet this is like drinking velvet those roasted toasty malts really come through it's chocolatey you've got the dark fruits there This is like a, a Black Forest Gatto, to be honest. You've got a silky creaminess of like the cream on a Black Forest Gatto. You've got the the fruitiness and you've got the, the dark sort of bready malts. Oh. Does life get any better? Does life get any better than this? So, I'll tell you a little interesting fact about this beer as well. Corbinian. What a name. What a name. It's actually named after Saint Corbinian, who was the founder of the Weistefen Monastery. So this is a beer to honour St. Corbinian. Hence why we have an effigy or picture of him on the front of the bottle. I'll try and get the, the, the light doesn't. Here we go. So, you know, it's, oh, this beer is strong in character strong in flavour it packs a massive punch there's a little bit of smokiness there believe it or not off these roasted malts and this is chocolatey without having this sort of, you know, like this, this, this cocoa powder uh, feel in your mouth. It's... <sighs> you can see why they consider to this to be one of the best examples of a doppelbock in Germany. I'm actually going to say, and I'm going to go further than that, I'm saying this is probably one of the best doppelbocks in Germany. 
you know, if you're into your German beer, and I know a few of you are, um, especially my mate Raj, who's into his German beer, right? Raj, get on the House of Trembling Madness and get yourself a bottle of this. You know, go and um, get yourself some great German beers because um, I can see you would enjoy this, Raj. You would enjoy this one. Along with the other Vastafanas that they have. Uh, matter of fact, I might even, uh, if you're not watching, Raj, I'll, I might actually uh, send you a link on uh, on Facebook. I'll message you a link. Right, get yourself some of these beers, mate, because I tell you what, you, you will not uh, be disappointed. Um... And Brian, <laughs> my friend Brian, who's, who likes his Belgian beer, I'm going to tell you this, Brian. If you've not had this beer, and I know he's, he likes a few good, good um, German doppelbox. Seriously, Brian, um, get on out of Trembling Madness and get yourself a bottle of this, mate. This is probably the nearest the Germans have got to like a um, a Belgium double. I bet, I bet you could pour this into a little tiny glass, 33 sill glass, right? And tell someone from Belgium that this is this is a, this is a Belgium double I'm brewing. What do you think of it? And I bet they're full for it. I bet they're full for it. So look, look. I'm going to mention Joe Byers here. Joe Byers beer reviews. Joe Byers. I'd like you to try this, mate, because you must be able to get it in Belgium. This is probably the first German beer I've had. This is near to a Belgium double. It really is. This is just awesome. I'm so glad I bought a few bottles of this. Because it goes down a treat. You know, and I'm, I'm drinking this. I pulled this out at about eight degrees, and um, they said about eight to ten degrees to drink this, which is the same sort of um, temperature which you're going to be drinking a Belgian double at. It's so so close to a Belgian double. It really is. The best double buck I have ever had. The best double bock I've ever had. Vice Stefana, the oldest brewery in the world, and they produce beers that, you know, styles of beers that not a lot of people can beat. They're up there. Um, their, their consistency, you know, Vice Stefana has got to be in the top five of breweries in the world without question of a doubt because they're not owned by anyone they're not they're not owned by a massive corporation it's still a private brewery it's up there as is one of the top five breweries in the world probably alongside um the sierra nevada probably sits in there with them um and then we're probably looking at some belgian breweries but you know um these are definitely one of the one of the top five breweries in the world the beers, the quality of the beers, every beer I've had from Vice Stefana has been awesome. This has just been, it's, it's blown my mind, to be honest. So look, get on the House of Trembling Madness. Get yourself a bottle of this. It's not expensive. It's it's like three pound odd, you know, which is it's not expensive. For a beer of this quality, that's not expensive, right? So get yourself a bottle of this. Try it. See what you think. Leave me a comment below, right? Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>
TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>